Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the difference between the elastic and plastic deformation. So I would like to explain the main difference between these two types of the deformation with the help of the example. So let's consider that we have any steel material here. This is any steel material and I applied the load on both sides of this steel material. So there will be some stresses and strain create inside this steel material. So we can see here the stress and strain curve on the left side. So by applying the load on the steel material, there will be some stresses and strain create inside this material. And by increasing the load on this material, the material will tend to deform and expand. So it will expand to this position. And by increasing the load, the stress and strain will increase. So now if I remove this load, the material will come to its back to its original position. So the point where I remove the load and the material again comes to its original position, this deformation is known as the elastic deformation of the material. So I will consider that this point, up to this point, the material can come back to its original position after removing the load. So this point will be known as the elastic deformation. Now, if I increase the load, the material will tends to increase and expand and also there will be some stresses and strains increase in both the direction until the material is fractured here. So this is the stress and general stress and strain diagram for the steel material. So now if I remove this load the material will not come to its original position. So this was the stage, so this was the main line between these two types of the deformation. Up to this point, up to this load, the material was able to come to its original position by removing the load. So this point or this distance in the curve is known as the elastic deformation of the material. While when I increase the load, the material will not come to its original position after this point. So this is known as the plastic deformation of the material. Plastic deformation. Similarly, if I take an example of concrete, if this is in a concrete, and I apply the tension on both sides of the concrete, so it will show some increase in the stress and strain up to this point, and it will expand like in this way. So up to this point, if I remove the load, the material will again come to its original position. So this point will be the elastic deformation point for this concrete. Now if I further increase the load, the material will not come back to its original position now. So this point, it will show deformation, but this deformation will be the plastic deformation now. So this is the elastic deformation for the concrete. And this is the elastic deformation. And after this point, this is the plastic deformation for the concrete material. So basically, when the material comes to its original position by removing the applied load, this deformation is known as the elastic deformation. And when the material doesn't comes to its original position, by removing the applied load, so this deformation will be known as the plastic deformation. Hope you guys understand the main difference and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.